Hey everybody, let's get ourselves some Child of Adam themed power armor. You get a quest which leads you to sort of a garagey kind of place where you can get a full set of power armor, a T45 paint job, and all the bits and pieces needed for another two custom sets of power armor. Let's check it out. All three of the custom suits use the same arms and legs, while the torso or chest piece and the helmet are totally unique to each suit. This one is called the Rising Redeemer. They're all fully upgradable, with the, some of the upgrades being reworked to more suit the Children of Adam theme. Meet the Augur of Ashes. Now the third set is the Bane of Bones. I guess if I had to pick the sets in order of preference, I'd go Rise of Redeemer, Bane of Bones, and Augur of Ashes. Simply because the Augur of Ashes has like a, just a spotlight on the side when you turn the light on. Whereas the Bane of Bones and Rise of Redeemer, the eyes light up. Now if you want to dress up your T-45 power armor, get yourself a Children of Adam paint job. This one will make you stand out in Diamond City. No doubt about it. I do wish it sort of glowed in the dark, though. Now, the three custom suits each has a unique enchantment. Uh, the Augur of Ashes increases your charisma as your radiation goes up. The Rising Redeemer will increase perception the higher your radiation goes. And finally, the Bane of Bones will increase your endurance the higher your rads go. That's pretty nifty. Now, there's some... Uh, custom rad themed upgrades the uh, Tesla coils are now called gamma coils and they deal radiation damage instead of energy damage to nearby enemies the Tesla bracers are now called gamma bracers and they add rad damage instead of energy damage to unarmed attacks and you can also put on some rad scrubbers which will fortify your crits by 10% They've also reworked materials. Uh, military is now molecular, and it adds strength. The Minuteman vault materials are now called orbital, and that adds charisma. And uh, lead-painted material is now organic coating, and it increases poison resistance. And this mod is also compatible with the Church of Adam Overhaul and South of the Sea. I do hope you enjoyed the showcase. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Man, I don't use gamma weapons nearly enough. I'm really going to have to work energy weapons into the next playthrough. Remind me. Don't let me forget.